project is the secrets to a cleaner toothbrush and I won the second place in microbiology and uh, I won the Broadcom's Master's Award. A bit about my project is testing if there's actually bacteria on our toothbrushes because every night when we go to brush our teeth uh, we're putting that toothbrush back into our mouth after we just cleaned it so I thought that there must be bacteria on our toothbrushes. The techniques that were the most effective were the mouthwash technique, the pressure cooker technique, uh, the UV sanitizer which is basically this light that shines on the bristles and this Nano V toothbrush that has silver coated bristles. So I could conclude that my hypothesis was in fact uh, correct, but however there was uh, three other techniques that were equally as effective. My title is Can Light Control Heart Rate? And the awards I got was I got first place in Zoology, I got the Chapman Innovation Award, and I was entered into the Broadcast Masters. The question I answered was, does light affect the heart rate of Daphne and Magna? And I used red light, blue light, and UV light. So the conclusion that I came up with is, um, that temperature might have played a part in the effect of heart rate because temperature does actually affect the heart rate and it's been proven numerous times. So based on that information, I proved that, um, I said that um, light, I mean, temperature could have been a possible reason. So the main purpose of my project was well, finding this most pure way to conserve water when growing grass but still keeping it fresh and green and it was in the environmental science category. I got first place in the environmental category at the Orange County Science Fair along with the Broadcom Master's Award and at the school I got the best in show project. The main purpose of my project was well, finding this most pure way to conserve water when growing grass but still keeping it fresh and green. My hypothesis was that by using the color sensor, um, that would the color sensor and the moisture sensor would both work the best um, and I thought that it would be a little bit behind what the city recommended but my results, uh, it actually didn't conclude that result because in conclusion the city actually recommended, as shown by the graph here, a lot more water than uh, what you actually should be wanting your grass with. The name of my project is Beware of the Bezoar. The awards that I have won were the second place in chemistry and um, I also was part of the Broadcom Masters. Basically what my project was about is how much gummy bears does it take to clog up your intestines. What I concluded was that it would take at least 25 ounces, as you can see here, there was a huge increase once it got to 25 ounces. So it, it, uh, it was um, just a fun experiment to do. The main of my project is please turn down the volume. I won a first place award at my school and a first place award for my category in Orange County. My project is basically on soundproofing and how soundproofing really works. I concluded that on average, fiberglass insulation is the most effective soundproofing material. So it's my project fighting fertilizers. In counties, it won three awards. It won the Broadcom Masters, second place in Earth Science, and a specialty award. In California alone, there are over 43 million acres of ag agricultural land, which means different fertilizers farmers use can have a huge impact on the environment. Um, in conclusion, I found that my hypothesis was only partially correct. Although some fertilizers do cause the environment to acidify and can eventually harm the ecosystem, that is only a small portion of those commercial fertilizers which are most commonly used. So it is most important that we protect our farms and our ecosystem by helping spread awareness of how we can protect them by using organic fertilizers rather than chemical fertilizers. My project is called Biodiesel Fuel for the Future and at counties I won a first place in my category botany applications, I won a Broadcom award and I won two specialty awards. My project is on biodiesel which is a renewable fuel made out of different kind of sources and I made my biodiesel out of plant-based sources such as algae and I also use used fryer oil. For my results, I found out that biodiesel is actually a good source to good source for your for anything that you need to use gasoline. However, if you want to use biodiesel at home, you have to ration it out and only use a certain percentage or else your engine will explode. And so for my project, I found out that I can turn basically any plant-based source into any renewable fuel you need. My project is Planaria, the race to regenerate. I got first place in pharmacology at counties and I'm a Broadcom master. So I tested the effects of aloe vera and caffeine on the regeneration of planaria. And so the social implications, so what I can see is that aloe vera actually helps regrowth, so like in wound healing, and caffeine will actually hinder wound healing. So aloe vera is actually better to use than caffeine. The title of my project is Amoxicillin and Vitamin C, a more powerful combination. Uh, I won second place at Orange County Science, uh, a regional science fair, and I won the Broadcom, uh, Broadcom Award. My science fair project is about combining vitamin C and antibiotic amoxicillin. Be, uh, could it be more efficient in killing bacteria than just uh, uh, amoxicillin alone?
Ratio of higher amoxicillin and lower vitamin C would be more efficient in uh, killing the bacteria. I was half right because a ratio of vitamin C and amoxicillin was better than amoxicillin alone. However, it was a combination of more vitamin C and less amoxicillin.